that's the motherfucking video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, y'all. Follow me on social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat, for just more of me being myself and doing my shit. If y'all want to see more about One More Chance, make sure y'all go in this comments. Tell me what the fuck was going. Tell me what was y'all favorite part of the episode because this episode was lit. Like this episode was lit. I'm sorry for me. For Come on, baby, you trying to get your motherfucking camera, bitch? Bitch, ain't even shit to hunk yet. Don't be, don't be hunking in the back of my shit, cause they get your ass pops, bitch. I, I ain't that friendly, ho. I don't like that, bitch. You fucking up. I'm trying to do no, do my due diligence. You interrupting me and shit. Do the fuck out of here. Uh huh, bitch. Try again. We in motherfucking traffic. One more chance came out with their first episode or whatever. Basically, two people came back from the last season and then they got like all these new ghetto ass bitches. I knew the shit was gonna be right when the first the shit came on and all these bitches coming in the confessional. And I've seen a bitch come in the confessional. It's like nobody like regular. Y'all know her last season, they had secrets and they had like the old grandma lady. They had the little ninja bitch that didn't really want to fight no more. She was a passive, but she knew how to fight, but she didn't want to fight. But they had all these different ca characters and personalities. But this season, they just got a whole bunch of ghetto ass bitches. Like, every time I seen somebody coming to a confessional, it was a ghetto bitch saying some ghetto shit. Lesser and lesser ghetto. Like, every bitch was more and more ghetto as the shit went on. Of course, I see why these bitches want me to talk about this. First and foremost, <laughs> first and motherfucking foremost, I already had a fight the first episode. We're gonna go ahead and get into when it happened. But I was surprised. I, no, I, I'm not. No, mm -mm. I'm not gonna say I was surprised for this episode because I kept saying these bitches didn't fight. These bitches didn't fight. These bitches like every time somebody had any type of disagreement, which happened in every single room. Every single room there was somebody disagreement, except the one with the fat bitches. You know, fat bitches be cool. Fat bitches they ain't even trying to fight all you know quick as fuck. Like especially like big pretty fat bitches. But like the fat bitches that fought. I knew they was messy as fuck. I knew they was bitches that been on past season. So, of course, they gonna try to fight the bitches that was on the last season. Because, of course, like, bitch, you been here. You already got a name for yourself. So, bitch, I'm finna try to get into it with you to make my name. We started off with Chance getting into the house. Basically saying, like, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on. And he want to look for love and shit again. That shit is a fucking fool. You not nobody's, nobody's really checking for him in real life. They know for a fact nobody really want to talk to Chance. Ugly, goofy, goofy looking ass. But I guess Miss Yummy is pregnant. So they did this whole baby mama drama thing where they wanted to see who the baby was and who the baby wasn't was. She talking about, oh, this is not your baby. But you know, then when you know who the fuck that baby is, you talking about, oh, it's not your kid, it's not your kid. How you know for sure? How you know for sure? And then y'all say y'all only met two times after the show. So y'all never was really in love in the first place. So Chance wanted to come and talk about, oh, he got his heart broken and oh my God, like, you know, I'm so heart. But if y'all didn't, if y'all wasn't talking seriously after the show, then therefore y'all wasn't in a real relationship. So therefore you, your heart shouldn't be that broken, sweet. I went past the whole honey yummy situation because like, bitch, why I'm leaving? Like, I mean, she was funny or whatever, but like she not, don't have nothing to do with the new season. And you know, he knew damn well she was fucking other niggas because he was fucking other bitches. So all this, all y'all had a happy home and they got broke up, bitch, save it for somebody else. They get to the new house. Now, if y'all don't know, the house that they have is the house that they had on Tanisha season for Bad Girls Club. If y'all didn't know, that's a little, it's that scoop. Some people know, some people don't. Somebody sees that that was the Bad Girls Club house. So shout out to the BGC, bitch. So now they get back to the shit or whatever and him and his brother's talking about how they, he feel like they got a good b batch. And then his brother say that he didn't pick the girls this time. Chance picked the girls this time. And I'm like, of course Chance picked the girl this time because his brother was actually looking for like bitches that'll actually be a candidate to talk to him. And he was just looking for the most ratchetest bitches that'll come tip on his show so he can make some more money. Like, I understand what you're trying to do, Chance. I know you're trying to make play a little, your little role that you're trying to find love. you trying to put a lot of ghetto bitches in the house so they can fight. And I'm here for it. Let's, let's, let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and do that. Y'all know I'm in traffic, I gotta wash my back. Y'all know I'm in traffic. <laughs> Y'all know I'm in the trenches, I gotta wash my back. Now we got all the new bitches in. They all waiting on sad, excited like they obviously do. Gabrielle, y'all know bitches always wanna come in and say, oh, I'm the prettiest bitch and these hoes are ugly. This one of the ugliest bitches that one of the guys to the fight, tell me, oh, I'm the prettiest one. Like, you hoes always do this shit every season. And then as we go through the season, we see different bitches and we see who personality makes them cute. Like, you can be pretty in the face, but bitch, if you out here acting stank and doing all that extra shit, bitch, you're not cute to me. But she was pretty as fuck. She was like saying, like, you know, she ready. Then this other girl, Domo, I don't know these people by their names, so I'm not gonna say a lot of names. This is just the first episode, so I don't really know them. But she said that, like, she looking around and she's seeing that it's people that's really not for him. But it's like, how do you know who here for him and who not just by looking around? Like, I could just tell how messy this shit just kick it off. Like, bitches just sitting in the group. Y'all don't even know each other. Y'all already talking shit. So y'all already finna get it too, because it's like, this is the vibe that's coming out first day. Like, first day for the last season was like, you know, everybody was like getting to know each other, fun, kicking it. Like, then it got some drama. You bitches got drama. <laughs> y'all have the drama. Get off the bus. You bitches didn't even get in the house yet. Y'all already talking about all that. These bitches ugly and da, 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 da. Next, we got this bitch, Sonya. 
Bitch, you here with your motherfucking daughter. For one. Talk about you, Miss Song. You this bitch. You coming with your daughter to get a nigga. Like, that's not weird to y'all. Like, you literally fighting with your... Competing with your daughter over a dick. Like, the camera don't even understand. What the fuck? Like, what's going on? Like, you in here competing with your daughter to fuck a nigga. That's not cute. Like, you, you don't want to be seen out of E out to E. And you like, oh, yeah, want you to... The mama that was with your daughter on that show. Y'all trying to fuck that boy. Like... What? I don't I don't understand that. That's how I knew for a fact this was gonna be some bullshit. When, it's, when I seen the mama daughter duo, like I understand if it's two sisters. But bitch, yo mama, old as hell, and your daughter, like, come on out. Y'all starting y'all shit up, but it's okay. I'm I'm here for all the shit. So chance rolling or whatever, his little um horse or whatever, then you tell the bitches to be quiet. Then I'm not fucking with his chance. Y'all make a chance for like he one of them niggas and his ugly ass is not like he's not cute at all. Y'all sit here fighting over an ugly nigga, like for 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 one. Then they got Yodela coming back. And they got Roly coming back. And then they got both of them coming back. But then he calls Roly Poly yummy. So he would don't even, he don't even know what the fuck he doing. He just got bitches in front of him and he just talking. So then he started roasting all the bitches in a little um, circle. He said one bitch is like a referee from a soccer game. And then he said another bitch got a nest on her head. Now the whole nest comment I did not live for because for one bitch, it's white bitches around. It's bitches with wigs on, like all sorts of shit. You gonna pick the bitch with the natural head and call her and say, oh, you got a nest on your head. like. That's not cute, bitch. That's a black woman's natural hair. What the fuck you want to call it a nest for? You could have said some white bitch. You got some motherfucking ram noodles coming out your shit. You could have went to the. You could have went to some other bitches head some other shit. But you want to pick out the black girl with the big fro and say, "Oh, you got a nest." I don't know what it was, bitch. What so she supposed to have on the wig? All black bitches are supposed to wear wigs. Like, uh, uh. That's why I like Chance in the first place. Y'all know I don't not live for him. I'm just to here to watch the bitches. Like, why would you say that? Out of anything And it's like Then the other bitch When they got the tour Laid up in the room Was like Oh did he call you Bird dancing Girl go get you a frontal No you don't have to Get you a frontal To be cute Bitch you don't need A fucking wig And a motherfucking 360 lace front To be cute Bitch no Like I did not live For that coming at all Now he's talking about He got catfished And he's talking about These bitches don't look Like how he thought They was gonna look And I for one did, Like these are like A group of like Bitches that's gonna go fight Like all these hoes look mean. They they got wraps on their head, like they mugged up. Ain't nobody like hugging their head. Like it's not giving that bad. It's giving like, ugh, what y'all like? Why y'all bad me type of bad? Let the hoes in the house. So far, the bitch Charisse is my favorite. The one that um they, they came in last with the booty shorts and the little jeans and shit. Like, oh, this is not like even when I see, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be my favorite bitch. I didn't have to. She didn't have to say shit. Like just how she was like just tipped in the house after everybody like running this shit. She just like tipped in real cute. Like mm, this is nice. I'm gonna go find. Like bitch, I'm not gonna run and go find my room, bitch. Regardless, I'm a bad bitch. I'm gonna have a spot to sleep regardless of how any bitch feel. But bitch, I'm gonna you know take my time. Look, that's my bitch, Charisse. Remember the name. That's the only name I remember from the whole show is Sharif. All the big titty bitches was in one room. I guess that was the first scene that all the big titty bitches was in one room. And then this girl, some, the Danny girl, was the one that I knew was going to be a problem because she somehow some, she think the girl with the red hair like a man. And I'm just like, girl, it's, it's, I don't think she look like a man. Like, you really just like brought that out your ass just to have something to say. So I'm pretty sure like you're going to be a drama field type of bitch. So I'm going to look out for Danny. And then that's when um, Danny somehow some, she want to knock on Chan's door so she could see him at night and all other type of shit like girl so then after they talk about Chan they go right to fighting <laughs> these bitches have been in the house for two minutes and as soon as they get done talk about you know meeting everybody did this bitch I got my nails short cause I'm ready for a bitch then the girl like oh my god my nails long cause I'm popping my shit off like this what we doing like this this episode one is y'all ready is y'all it's episode one is y'all okay y'all ready i know y'all ready because y'all told me to come and i'm here bitch basically they came in a fight they said they ready to kick bitches out they then they got the next room with the classier bitches i thought at first and then the classy bitches who i thought was finna get classy was the bitches that actually like really got into the shit they asked yoda number two that's what i call her on my notes because she looked like yoda but she not yoda but she looked like similar to Yoda. I thought she was at first. So then they get on one bed. They're like, oh, you can sleep on this side. You can sleep on this side. They're like, oh, where you going to sleep? And then she say, bitch, I <laughs> <laughs> they, they sit on the bed and ask that bitch, where what, what you gonna sleep at? Bitch, they is funny. She gonna sleep upstairs with Chance, that's why she here. Then they say she got it in the bag and that's interesting. And that's, um, that she's speaking into existence that she wanna be with Chance. And that bitch say, okay, Miss Manifest. Bitch. So then after she, she called that bitch Miss Manifest. And then she say, um, then, did you already get your nickname? Bitch, she called you a bird, like with your nest on your head. Bitch, y'all trying to read. First, this ain't your first episode. This is first 10 minutes into the first episode. Y'all already read each other like y'all been had beef since back in the day. I got what y'all got under them wigs. 
Bitch, she was no bad, Miss Ness, whatever the fuck her name is, but she was eating her, she was eating her ass up. You saying her confession, like, don't do my fro because I choose to be natural and to live in my natural state, and you choose to go get a lace front. Like, don't, don't, don't be mad at me because this is what I want to do. At the same time, I just really don't like how the girl went about, like, oh, go get you a lace front. Like, bitch, you're weak as fuck. Like, that's some lame ass shit. You gonna tell another black woman to go put a lace front on. Bitch, how dumb do you sound? Like, that was really the some of the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. Oh, maybe if you got a, had a lace front on, he wouldn't have said that about you. Fuck what he got to say about me, bitch. This is what the fuck came out of my scalp. What the fuck? Then that's when the bitch started making bird noise. <laughs> what I tell y'all, this shit was a fucking key. The bitch started making bird noise. Somebody said, Kaga, Kaga, Kaga. Somebody said, Somebody bad this bitch a lace front. And then that's when she said, um, it was a funny joke. She was like, not everybody was laughing. And then the girl was like, it really wasn't. And then she just went off the wall and was like, bitch, don't you give hand jobs? And I'm just like, when the fuck do you know about this bitch giving hand jobs? And she like, what? So I guess like she just the bitch is gonna be just busting out saying wow shit. Cause I guess she just a crazy bitch. Like she literally just started shit with these bitches for no reason. She argued with one bitch. She left. And then she just started arguing with the bitch that was sitting next to her, like, girl, you was messy, but I'm here for you too. You you with the shits, it's okay. About your hand jobs. He said, I didn't say nothing about your pussy. Then the other girl was like, bitch, how you know I got a pussy? <laughs> she said, it's 2021, how you gonna be assuming people genders? Girl, for one, y'all had a drag queen on the first season. Now y'all got bitches out here hinting that they trans. Baby, Chance, if you gay, just come out the closet. Like, if you if you on some DL fruity shit, I promise you, I would not be surprised. Like, I would not be like gagged at all. Cause, Bitch, you got bitches on here clearly saying, bitch, how you know I got a pussy? Chance don't, baby. Hey. Hey, baby. Baby. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with me. Girl, the bird, next girl leaves the room. <sighs> then she start getting into it with the girl she's sitting next to you. So she say, she say, the other girl like, girl, don't sit like you here for me. He's like, bitch, he said, whoever you ready for, bitch, the door right there, you can leave like the last bitch. So she tell her to leave. She said, I thought you was going upstairs. She was like, why the fuck you clocking what I'm doing? And then she said, I can't know no bitch with a dry ass weave kick me out. Ah! <laughs> Devin say, I can't let no bitch with no dry ass weave kick me out. Oh, shit. The camera finna fall, y'all. Oh, shit. And then they go to the camera and pan her her weave and her motherfucking hair dry as fuck. Like, bitch, they literally, she said her hair was dry and then they showed us some dry ass hair. Bitch, she was reading. Now, she probably couldn't read the first bitch, but this second bitch was not playing with her. Tell you that she wanna be New York and then we, she was like, we can get into it if you want to. Like, then the bitch get up like, okay, so what you wanna do? Like. I'm like, girl, y'all already shaking shit up. Bitch, we only been here for six, six minutes. Like, y'all just put y'all shit down and got right to business. That shit is crazy. Girl lays on the bed and twerking a bitch face. And then she say, bitch, don't fucking twerk on my face. Da -da 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 -da. Like, bitch, don't do that shit. Then the other girl like, bitch, I smother you with all this ass. Like, what the fuck you trying to do? Like, y'all is y'all already pushing it, hitting each other. And y'all is just like, y'all all getting off on the wrong foot. So I'm like, okay, this shit is, the, this is, this is the mess. Two messes so far. Let's hopefully the next scene is gonna be better. Big girl, it's her birthday, and she gonna um, suck Chance Jick at seven. And then a mess of girl said she wanna get shots. They was cute. I'm like, okay, now we got a more positive energy. Like, you know, they ain't out trying to get into it all quick. Like, they trying to drink and have fun. Like, at least we got some bitches that's not on that bullshit. But then we go right to the mama and sister duo. <laughs> and I already knew when they said the mama and sister bitch, they was already on that shit. So the mama and sister fan them a room. It's a big bed. Come on, bitch, you was a little motherfucking close, bitch. Calm the fuck down. I don't know you sitting sitting right here. Got on the bed and they're like, okay, so they sleeping in here with us. And then it's like my, my, my little girl, Mariah Lynn looking girl. She looked like Mariah Lynn. She was real skinny. Then there's another big bitch that was sitting on a little ass chair. Like, girl, you know your big ass is not from sleeping on that little ass chair. So I don't know why you still trying to like be in a motherfucking room, bitch. You too big to be on that little ass chair, baby. Girl say like, um, are y'all in the room with us? Like, ask her questions. Then the girl, like, start pointing fingers in her face. She's like, don't put no finger, point no fingers in my face. She's like, bitch, as long as you stay in the donkey section. Now, when she said that, I understood, like, bitch, that's beef. Because then they was like, oh, why are you getting up, coming all over here, saying shit, bitch? You just told me that I was in the motherfucking doggy section. Like, bitch, I'm not no fucking dog. Bitch, I don't know you from nowhere. You're not finna try to treat me. And this is my first day here. So my bitch, Mariah Lynn, my bitch, my bitch motherfucking, um, Got to wipe the fuck up and got on got on bitches' heels. Like I didn't know, was not expecting that white girl to be so bangy like she was. Like that white girl got right up and got in them hoes. Asked her and her mama, but she was ready for all the shit. She like, bitch, are you over there sharing a bed with your mama? I said, oh, oh, my bitch with the business. This little white girl was not with none of that shit. She said, oh, bitch, you sit right there sharing a bed with your mama. Stop him, me, ho. The mama scoot up and it go to the next scene. 
Now we got Miss Roly Poly getting jumped on. They jumped on my bitch Roly. They did not jump on my bitch Roly. They really jumped on my bitch Roly Poly. Like, they really jumped my girl. Like, I ain't lived her that much in the first season, but girl, y'all not gonna just jump my bitch Roly. Like, I was gagging, bitch. I'm like, oh my God, these bitches really just like jumped my bitch. So, basically, the girl pushed Roly off the bed because Roly didn't get on the bed and she felt like, way. Roly, you did push man Jaina off the bed first season, so you can't really get that man what somebody do it to you, baby, because you did do it the first season when he sat on the bed. She sat on the bed on the whole shit, in fact, because on Instagram, she says she a boy. On, on the TV, she says she was a girl. So whatever she going bad, that's, hey. But you did push her off the bed in the first season when she tried to sit on the bed, and then when somebody else did this to you, bitch, you did your shit, no bad, bitch, you, you bucked up, no bad. If a bitch was me on my bed, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up, and that's what she did, bro, Lisa, I live for you for that. Bitch, you ran right the fuck up on that bitch, cause bitch, don't push me off that motherfucking bed. Bro, Lisa said it wasn't called for, like she tried to talk it out real quick, and she said it was embarrassing because she felt the scene. Then they go back to the other scene with the mama, and it said like, bitch, you talking about just the doggy bed, and the girl stand up, and then the mama stand Stand up and then, then, then the Mariah Lynn, she get up like, bitch, why are you standing up? And she, bitch, Mariah Lynn. Also, that's who, that's one of my favorite too. My, Miss Skinny White Girl Mariah Lynn. I'm gonna call her that for, for so they get her, her name. But bitch, she's with the shits. She got right up, bitch. Why are you getting up? Bitch, that's not one of those hoes. Bitch, she probably was doing crack and meth in the basement with real drug dealers, killers, and sellers, bitch. She with the shits. Do not play with her. Now the mama getting banged. Just about some, go call me another bitch. Call me another bitch. Got all up in her face and shit. So then that's when she kind of like paid the mama because she's like, girl, you're the mom. So like, I'm not gonna get into it with you. But the daughter, bitch, she was on dirt with her ass. So then now they go back to motherfucking um, Roly Poly scene. So then that's what um, Roly walk in. Talking about, so, uh, so y'all gonna jump me? So y'all jump me because they were talking shit and then the other girl get up behind her. She like, so y'all gonna jump me? So y'all gonna jump me? Bitch, they closing in on my bitch, Roly Poly. If, and now if it's a bitch coming up from me from the back and it's a bitch in my, motherfucking, in my motherfucking face arguing with me, bitch, I'm gonna swing. Like, I understand, I understood where she come from. For one, bitch, you just pushed me off the bed and then two, bitch, I'm trying to get up and tell y'all like, that's uncalled for and y'all closing in on me. Bitch, what you trying to do? My bitch Roddy Pony got the duke in her shit. I'm like, map, map, map. My bitch Roddy Pony got the doing her ass the fuck in, bitch. Yes, like when she said, bitch, your sister had to save your life. Bitch, your sister really had to save your life because my bitch Roddy Pony was duke. She gave her fat, fat, fat. Slam. Stop playing my bitch. She heavyweight champion. Oh my heater. My bitch wig gone. They snatched her motherfucking wig off. Of course, you know, that's her big one. She always got to switch her wig every motherfucking day. Now we're going back to the mama. The mama say, don't disrespect her. Honey cocaine all up in her face. Somehow, back up, back up. The mama yelling. Roly, then that's when we asked the Roly. Roly say the, um, the sister was fucking in the same room the night before at the hotel. The sister was fucking the night before at the hotel and she spilled their tea. I guess um, they was in a room with some dude and then that's when they um were trying to do their big one or whatever and they said like they had two different hotel rooms or whatever they said. Going back to um them checking Mariah Lynn, they was all up in her face and then they started pushing each other and the mama just like calm down, break it up. Girl, you on the show, but you still a mama. <laughs> How you on the show trying to be bandy with the young bitches, but then when the shit pop off, you still want to play your mama card. Don't say nothing. Don't talk no more. Bitch, she on the show. If she want to pop her shit, bitch, let her pop her shit, bitch, you can't still be her mama and then y'all on the show, bitch, that's weird. I don't like, uh, uh, I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck they got going on, but this shit is, oh my God. If my new bitch come in, y'all know the bitch I like, um, that I told y'all, Chelsea, whatever her name is. She walk in the room, well, after they started fighting this shit, and then they, um, roly poly throwing shit, and they yelling this shit, and roly talking about something, she don't know why you here, you need to go put a sock in it. Then they say, um, back. To my bitch, um, like they literally kept switching back and forth to you know the bitches in the room, then the bitches fighting Roly Poly. Bitch, Chanel West Coast can't stay in the motherfucking room no more. Then the mama say, um, we not here for that bitch, we here for chance. When I say that shit was so fucking cringy, like, oh, uh, we not here to fight daughter, we here to fuck that nigga. Girl, what? Like that that felt comfortable coming out your mouth. We not here to we not here to fight nobody, girl. We here to fuck that boy. Ew, like, uh, huh, oh, bitch, like. That's nasty as fuck. They um in the room with them. Roly still throwing shit. They say um she got Botox pussy. They start arguing my favorite bitch. Roly start telling her bitch you got Botox pussy. Then that's when Chance finally come. Chance, it's been six fucking fights, seven to twelve arguments, and you want to come at? Where do you be? This is your show. Why does it take you so long to get to shit when it's happening? You in a secret compartment in the house or something, by yourself, put up, watching all this shit? Or like, why do you just always have to come at the end? 
And that's that's that, that I don't you never there or escalate, you always there to, to talk about what happened. Like you was a tea you a tea collector. No bap. Chance, you're a tea collector. You are the tea collector of the show. Bitch, they fight it and you collecting the tea. They tell Chance what happened. Rolly says she whooped her sister ass and her sister had to stay for her, which is true, but she was banging her sister out. Rolly starts spilling some tea, talking about she got evidence about them going in the room together, and she tell Michael what happened, and that's when the, um, the other girl who I told y'all that I like with the Botox pussy, she was like, you bitches fighting over a bed? Uh-uh-uh. Well, so she told Chance, like, when you go back and figure that shit out, find me somewhere to sleep. I love that bitch. That's how I knew I was jumping up with my favorite bitch, because she said, bitch, you all fighting over a bed? Uh-uh, baby. When you go back to do that shit, bitch, find me a bed. Find me somewhere to sleep. I'm not finna be walking around tumbling with bitches over beds. Bad bitch. Thank you. And that's when the bitch, like, if your weed come off that easily, bitch is not installed right. Who the fuck installed that shit? <laughs> what? This shit was a fucking key, y'all. I know, bitch, this shit was a fucking key, like... This shit was so fucking funny. So then Rolly finally found a footage of the, uh, the niggas at the hotel room and there really wasn't no, like, no good tea. The niggas were at the hotel room, but she didn't have no actual footage of the girls with them. So your tea and your and your, your receipts were, were all void. I'm sorry, Rolly Poli. You usually come up with the good receipts and shit, but baby, this time, it, it was a flop. Chance talks to the sister. Rolly come back in the room yelling, saying they lying, and they come out, shut the fuck up, you fat bitch. The fattest bitch ran in the room and said, shut the fuck up, you fat bitch. <laughs> this is a mess. Period. That's the wonderful video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, y'all. Follow me on social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat, for just more of me being myself and doing my shit. If y'all want to see more about One More Chance, make sure y'all go in these comments. Tell me what the fuck was going. Tell me what y'all favorite part of the episode, because this episode was lit. Like, this episode was lit. I'm sorry for me. For Come on, baby. You trying to get your motherfucking camera, bitch. Bitch, ain't even shit to hunk yet. Don't be, don't be hunking in the back of my shit, because they get your ass popped. Bitch, I, I ain't that friendly, ho. I don't like that, bitch. You fucking up. I'm trying to do no t do my new diligence. You interrupted me and shit. Blew the fuck out of you. Hey, just let me know in the comments what y'all favorite part of the video was. Um, I definitely will be doing every episode review. So if y'all want that, make sure y'all stop in that motherfucker like button. And on that note, it's singing. <laughs> Since we out.